Well, as we all know, Halloween will be here in the next three days from now. So today's review is on Cartoon Network's Halloween Nine Creepy Capers DVD. It was released on August 10th of 2004, two months before Halloween. Isn't that something? This DVD was released in the summertime, August 10th of 2004. I mean, they, they weren't playing. They wanted to release it two months earlier. I mean, they could have released it a month later, you know, in September, before October. Since September and October are just right there, they're close to one another. But back in 2004, Cartoon Network wasn't playing. They released their Halloween DVD August 10th in the summertime. I mean, that'd be something that somebody got the DVD in the summertime and they watched the, <laughs> the Halloween DVD in the summertime in the month of August. Because they couldn't wait that long for Halloween to come, even though it was only two months away. <laughs> that would have been a hot mess and crazy. But anyways, I have this DVD. And um, I watch this DVD every Halloween, which I will be doing this Thursday. I also recall, also in 2004, just like the Cartoon Network Yudotai Foley's DVD, I also recall seeing the commercial for this DVD. And here it is. Check it out. Get spooked with Cartoon Network's first Halloween DVD. Yeah, that's what I call Halloween spirit. Yes, that's right, all you goblins and ghouls. For the first time ever on DVD, Ed, Ed and Eddie, Billy and Mandy, Courage, and more. Come face to face with things so frightening, so scary, there's only one thing to do. So get ready to scream Cartoon Network's first ever Halloween DVD in stores this Halloween. Great memories. I got the DVD in October 2005. Let's take a look at the back of the DVD. It says, this Halloween, send a chill through your funny bones. Scare up a few laughs with Cartoon Network's first ever Halloween DVD. With this nine episode collection, you'll encounter four-eyed chickens, devilish vampires, and disco dancing monsters. But fear not, this collection of terrifying tales will have you screaming for more. Yes, yeah, so this uh, Cartoon Network Halloween DVD is like the Cartoon Network Christmas DVD. The DVD features nine spooktacular tales of the eight Cartoon Network shows. Billy and Mandy, Johnny Bravo, Ed, Ed, and Eddie, The Powerpuff Girls, Dexter's Laboratory, Courage the Cowardly Dog, Cow and Chicken, and I Am Weasel. And just like the Yuletide Foley's DVD that had one show with two Christmas episodes, which was I Am Weasel, this DVD also has one show with two Halloween creepy tales. And the one show that has two Halloween episodes featured on this DVD is obviously Courage the Cowardly Dog. I mean, let's face it, when it comes to Courage the Cowardly Dog, it seems like every episode is like Halloween, every freaking episode. I mean, Courage the Cowardly Dog, it features a lot of demons and ghouls and, and scary, creepy, eerie things that Courage has to deal with, and a lot of screaming, including Courage's screaming, which is a classic. So, Courage the Cowardly Dog is pretty much always Halloween when it comes to watching that show. That and... Ah, real monsters. So it makes sense for Courage to have two Halloween-like episodes on this DVD. We have the Billy and Mandy's Jacked Up Halloween, which is a classic. And then there's, of course, the classic Johnny Bravo, Bravo Doobie Doo, where Johnny Bravo meets the Scooby-Doo gang. So that's a Johnny Bravo, Scooby-Doo crossover. Ed, Ed, Nettie, Dawn of the Ears, another classic. The Powerpuff Girls, Boogie Frights. That's when it features the bo -bo 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 Boogie Man. Like I said, Courage, the Demon in the Mattress, and Courage meets Bigfoot episode. That's definitely Halloween. Then there's uh, Dexter's Laboratory, Picture Day. Some of you guys are probably like, how is this episode a, a Halloween episode? How is this Halloween related? I guess they put it in the DVD because I guess it's considered Halloween-like when everybody at school freaks out with Dexter's new transformation of him trying to look handsome. I mean, overall, Dexter never really had from what i recall like a, a real halloween like episode then we have cow and chicken cow with four eyes uh that's the episode where cow gets glasses and chicken gets jealous so he figures that he gets glasses too 
So he goes sees the eye doctor, who is no one other than the legendary red guy. <laughs> he gets him um, glasses. Chicken can't see. I mean, he's so blind to the point that when he's talking to the students, his other classmates and his teacher, he's trying to make a sandwich. But as you can see, he's not buttering the bread. He's buttering his hand. And then he likes, I, he was trying to get something else, but he reached for the milk. And he pours on bread and he eats the damn sandwich. <laughs> it's like, dude, you can't go around wearing glasses, but you're still blind. And Chicken should have sued the red guy. The red guy is not a real eye doctor. He don't know what he's doing. He should have sued him for making him blind. I'm actually surprised. I'm actually surprised that Cartoon Network back then, instead of this um, cow and chicken, um, cow with four eyes episode, they should have uh, replaced it with um, the actual cow and chicken Halloween episode, Halloween with dead ghosts coast to coast. I don't understand why they didn't put this in the um, Cartoon Network uh, Nine Creepy Capers DVD, but this cow with four eyes episode, because that's the episode where cow and chicken dress up as human beings. Chicken dresses up as his father. He's wearing the same clothes that his father wears. Cow dresses up as a human woman. She putting on lipstick. Oh, man, the best part was when she grabbed that, the, um, the clippers from chicken so she can shave her armpits. <laughs> and the expression on her face is just priceless. And chicken's just pissed off <laughs> and, and, and angry. <laughs> like, what are you doing, cow? <laughs> like, Cartoon Network, what were you thinking? And then lastly, we have the I Am Weasel, I Am Vampire um, Halloween episode. So, yeah, that's the DVD. So, like I said, I will be tuning in this Thursday while eating some candy, watching the DVD. If you haven't gotten the Halloween DVD, well, you can go online or whatever and uh, order it and um, watch it on the Halloween seasons. It's the perfect time to watch it around Halloween. So anyways, that's it. See you later. I hope you guys have a wonderful Halloween.